Hi everybody, today I'm here with uh, Derek uh, Barbaric Anderson. Uh, Derek, it is a pleasure to talk with you. How are you? Good man, how you doing? I'm doing good. How do you feel? Get ready to go, man. Can't wait. I'm excited. Uh, how did you start uh, your passion for the MMA, Derek? What's that? How did you start uh, your passion for the MMA? Uh, just, you know, I was always getting a lot of fights when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, I always liked fighting. Like, I just thought it was cool. And then, uh, you know, I, when I was like 19, uh, I started training just because um, just kind of something to do. And, uh, you know, it was real fun. I was kicking everybody's ass. So I figured I'd, you know, and then I started making money. So then I, that's the only thing I ever did. Uh, Derek, I know your nickname is uh, Barbaric. How did uh, your nickname come uh, about? Uh, well, my first pro fight, my mom, uh, she's like, I don't like this sport. It's barbaric. You know, and I was looking for a nickname at the time. And I was like, perfect. Derek Barbaric. You know? <laughs> uh, Derek, how are you preparing uh, for this match? Uh, I'm just getting in great shape. You know what I mean? I think I'm the better fighter. So uh, I took the fight short notice, and uh, I just want to be in great shape because, uh, you know, I had, um, I had, I had just, I've been was coming off the couch off a year of not even training because uh, injuries and stuff like that. So I just got back from vacation, and then they told me, yeah, fight Paul Daly in three weeks, and I was like, ah, yeah, all right. So I just getting in good shape, just trying to get in good cardio, you know. Are you making a with cut for your next match against uh, Daly? No problem. Uh, you know, I like welterweight fights because I don't barely cut any weight. You know, I just, uh, I just, I get to eat. I, I have to eat extra, actually, because it's hard to um, eat enough for me to keep my weight on because I'll, I'll lose so much weight fast by how hard I work. So um, I'm trying to eat more and uh, the weight of cut will be not a problem at all. Okay. You have a record of uh, 16 wins and three losses. What was uh, the best moment of your career and which uh, was the worst? Uh, well, um, you know, every fight, man, is so good. You know, every fight, you get your hand raised. It's real good. That's a great feeling, you know, and that's why I do this. And uh, so, yeah, I can't really pick out one moment. There's, you know, I've had, I've had some, uh, some good opponents and stuff like that uh, a couple times. And, um, uh, you know, it, it makes it it makes it a little bit more sweet, I guess. But really, they're all sweet. It's always a sweet victory just to just get your hand raised. You know, um, it feels good. Worst moment. Um, yeah, you know, like uh, that's tough, too. It's the same thing. It's always just as bad. Also, same thing. You know, if you lose and, you know, it's kind of worse because, uh, you know, the guys that have beaten me, you know, they know that I'll kick their ass. You know what I mean? So they don't want to fight again. And, um you know, it's kind of, it's, it's that much worse even more. Like, if I, you know, like Martin Hill, the first loss I got, you know, I tapped out. That's my fault. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so, you know, that's not as bad. That's not as bad as, uh, like, Grand Primus. You know, he knows I kicked his ass. You know what I mean? If that was in school, he'd be giving me his lunch money every day. You know? So, uh, that kind of stings a little bit. Derek Campos, you know what I mean? Uh, he brought it, but uh, I can kick his ass. You know, I was kind of out of shape and, uh, you know, um, I had some problems with that training camp and stuff like that, but, you know, he got it. I kicked his, I, you know, his face was a lot more fucked up than mine, you know what I mean? But, you know, he, uh, he you know, it stings. It stings. All the losses sting, you know? So the wins and, and the losses, you, it don't matter. But this one's going to be the sweetest. This this win will be the sweetest. Derek, what do you think about uh, your next opponent, Paul Daly? Uh, you know, he's, he's been around for a long time. Uh, seems like a tough, uh, hard puncher, you know, I mean, I think his ground game is kind of a joke for the level he's fighting at, um, you know, um, and, uh, I just think, I just think, uh, I think he's, uh, I mean, you know, he's hitting people after the bell and stuff like that, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it don't mean, uh, that don't mean your heart's in the, in, in the right spot. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready to, you know, what's it called? Like a warrior, you know, go out on my shield. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, 
win or lose, like, you know, like I said, I, you know, those, those losses I got sting, but you know, I take them, you know what I mean? And I say, whatever, that's what it is, you know? And like, I'm ready to rematch it, but I'm not going to go uh cheap shot. Nobody or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Derek, do you think uh, you are superior uh, to Daly in any aspect uh, of the fight? I think I'm absolutely superior to him. I think all around. Yeah, you know I mean, I think he's got a little more power than me. You know what I mean? But um, that don't matter because uh, I do th feel like I'm a better striker. And uh, I feel like, uh, obviously, my ground game is way better because his ground game is terrible. <coughs> uh, how, do, how do you feel... Uh, to be a part of the main event of uh, the promotion of Bellator MMA. That's great, man. You know, it's really great to get this opportunity, uh, especially where the first fights on CBS now. And, uh, you know, I feel I, I was lined up with uh, MVP last year. We we're going to be main event out there in London. And uh, I really always regretted not, not, uh, not going through with that one. You know, I had a groin injury and, um, You know, it is what it is, but this one, uh, you know, here's my another, I got another shot, so here we go. And I mean, I'm ready to go. I'll make it worth it. Are you happy to fight uh, in Italy? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's going to be great. I wish we could see, uh, I wish I could go outside the hotel. I don't think I'm going to be able to go outside the hotel, really. Because of the quarantine, you know? Yeah. But, you know, hey, it'll be cool. Fight in Italy, I get to say that. Do you like uh, the Italian people? Oh, hell yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I like all people. Italian food. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, it's going to be the best place to carb load before the fight, you know? That yeah. Perfect place. <laughs> uh, Derek, uh, after uh, this match uh, against uh, Paul Daly, would you like to face someone in uh, particular? Uh, I, I want to go for a title. You know what I mean? Like, um, if they don't want me to go for a title, then I, I, I'd like to get another shot at that MVP fight. Um, but I really would like to go for a title. Um, I really don't care. I could still make lightweight, honestly, because, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's hard for me to keep the weight on for welterweight. So I could do a lightweight title or a welterweight title, you know. Um, but uh, I'm trying to, you know, I want to make, make some noise, man. I want to do what I'm supposed to do in this sport, and let's be the best, you know. So I'm out here fighting, uh, you know, and uh, I'm not scared of nobody. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'd love to get a title shot. Derek. Could you give us a prediction uh, regarding your your match? Yeah, sure, man. Um, you know, uh, I think I'm just going to make them look bad. Let's say that, you know? Let's say that. Total domination. I, I might, I might uh, you know, I might knock them out. You know what I mean? I might choke them out, you know? But, uh, uh, you know, I just think, uh, I think I'm better than he is. And uh, I think maybe I'll be a little more patient this fight. Normally, I rush, I, I rush in a lot, and I go, and I dogfight. I'm a good dogfighter. Um, you know, but uh, like I said, I took the fight three weeks notice, so I'm be a little more patient, you know, and, like, I got a long reach. You know, he's got a long reach, too, but I'm a tall guy, so maybe I'll stick him long a little bit, you know, but he's going to look bad. Derek. Uh, yeah. No. His mic phone was messing up. No problem. Derek, thanks for your time uh, for this interview. Do you have something to say to your fans and uh, the Italian fans? Uh, yeah, man, just uh, just check me out. You know what I mean? Uh, give me give me some uh, give me some love and faith. You know what I mean? And, uh, watch me kick Paul Daly's ass. Maybe give me a follow. Um, I can use some followers so I can get some more money out there with some endorsements and stuff. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so uh, Derek Barbaric for Instagram or Derek Barbaric one. For Instagram, Derek Barbaric for uh, Twitter, uh, Derek Barbaric Anderson for Facebook, and uh, thank you guys for having me out there and on here too. Thank you, Derek. Good luck. Thanks, brother. You have a good one, man.